Spicy Medtech here, and this will be the first of a three-part series of recalls and must-knows for this March 2020's Medical Technology Licensure Exam. And in this episode, we will be covering select recalls and must-knows from Clinical Chemistry and Microbiology. Let's begin. Number 1. Which is not a part of 5-drug panel testing? A. Opiates B. Amphetamines C. Cocaine, D. Fencyclidine, or E. Ethyl alcohol. So ang answer po natin dito sa number 1 ay letter E. Ethyl alcohol. So ang ating 5-drug panel testing includes common drugs of abuse like marijuana or yung THC, cocaine, mga basic opiates or mga drugs na derivatives ng opium kagaya ng codeine, morphine, tsaka heroin. Fencyclidine or yung tinatawag na PCP or angel dust At amphetamines, kagaya ng methamphetamine, more commonly known as either meth or shabu Number 2 Which of the following is a locomotory organelle? A. Fimbrae B. Flagella C. Pili Or D. All of the above So ang answer po natin dito sa number 2 ay letter P. Huwag tayo mag-overthink. We know na ang flagella is locomotory or used for movement. And nakikita natin na may all of the above na choice. So kapag may non-locomotory sa other choices, automatic na flagella na yung answer. Ang fimbriae po tsaka yung pili are both organelles of adherence, commonly found in bacteria. So ang answer po ay letter B, flagella. Number 3. Which is not an arthropod-borne disease? A. Dengue B. RSV C. Yellow fever or D. Japanese encephalitis So answer po natin dito sa number 3 is letter B. RSV so RSV or respiratory syncytial virus is the only item na hindi arthropod born. Ang vector ng dengue tsaka yung yellow fever ay mosquitoes coming from the genus Aedes. At yung Japanese encephalitis naman ay mosquitoes coming from the genus Culex. RSV is a highly contagious and infectious virus which is transmitted through direct contact or contact with respiratory droplets from an infected patient. Number 4. Which of the following is an antidepressant? A. Digoxin B. Phenobarbital C. Lithium or D. Alcohol So, answer po natin dito sa number 4 ay letter C. Lithium So, letter A. Digoxin is a cardiac medication which is used to treat different heart conditions, including atrial fibrillation. Letter B, phenobarbital is an anticonvulsant used in the treatment of epileptic seizures. And letter D, alcohol is actually considered to be a depressant. Number 5, at less than 380 nanometers, what is the color? A, yellow. B. Orange C. Violet D. UV So ito po, isang basic recall. Pero minsan, nagkakamali pa rin tayo because we only look for the key word. So, pagkakita natin ng 380, sasabihin ka agad natin na violet. Since yung wavelength ng violet lies between 380 to 440 nanometers but actually nakalagay is less than 380 nanometers so answer po ay letter D UV because the wavelength range for UV is anything below 380 nanometers otherwise nasa visible region or infrared region na po siya. number 6 which is also known as ecstasy A Delta 9 THC B. Benzoylecgonine C. 
fencyclidine, or D, methylene dioxymethylamphetamine. So ang answer po natin dito sa number 6 ay letter D, methylene dioxymethylamphetamine, or better known sa kanyang street name na Molly. Letter B, benzoylecgonine, is a primary metabolite for the drug cocaine. Fencyclidine, or angel dust, is a recreational hallucinogen. Letter A, delta 9 THC, is the active ingredient in marijuana. The following are tests for cortisol, except... A. Overnight dexamethasone B. Arginine stimulation test C. CRH stimulation test or D. 24-R urine cortisol So answer po natin dito sa number 7 is letter B. Arginine stimulation test So letters A, C, and D are all cortisol tests. Yung dexamethasone at yung urine cortisol are screening tests. Tapos yung CRH stimulation, which CRH stands for corticotropin releasing hormone stimulation, is yung confirmatory. Yung letter, D, letter B po, which is ang arginine stimulation, is actually a confirmatory test for growth hormone deficiencies. Number 8. Gram-positive bacterial organism most associated with colon cancer. A. L. monocytogenes B. S. bovis C. V. cholerae D. S. schenkii So ang answer po natin dito sa number 8 ay letter B. Streptococcus bovis So sa lahat po ng choices dito, dalawa lang yung gram-positive bacterial organisms which is ang listeria at yung strep. Yung vibrio cholerae po ay isang gram-negative rod yung sporothrin shanky eye ay isang fungus na causative agent ng sporotrichosis which is also known as a rose gardener's disease. Number 9. Which of the following does not have an isoenzyme? A. LDH B. Amylase C. ALP D. ALT So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 9 ay letter D, ALT. So, the reason why ALT is always requested in cases of suspected liver disease is because of its sensitivity and specificity to only the liver. Unlike the rest na merong iba't ibang isoenzymes, for example, yung LDH, may LDH 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tsaka 6. Yung amylase, may amylopsin, tsaka thialin. Yung ALP, na may bone, placental, liver, at intestinal isoenzymes din. So, our answer is ALT. Number 10. Associated with striatoria and gay bowel syndrome. Causes crypts and hypertrophy of cells in the duodenum. A. Georgia duodenalis. B. Ancelostoma duodenale. C. Ascaris lumbricoides. Or D. Entamoeba histolytica. So, answer po natin dito sa number 10 ay letter A, Georgia Duodenalis. So, sometimes, ito yung nagiging trick question ng mga examiners. Kasi, remember, when we say gay bowel, automatic na sinasagot natin yung Georgia Lamblia. So, ang ginagawa ng examiner is ginagamit yung less known na mga pangalan ng organisms, which in this case is the other name of G. Lamblia ay Georgia Duodenalis. Sometimes, the examiner would prefer Georgia Intestinalis. So, my answer is letter A, Georgia Duodenalis. Number 11. Conditions detected in newborn screening in the Philippines include all of the following except A. Galactosemia B. Phenylketonuria C. M. Sud or D. Galactosuria So, answer po natin dito sa number 11 ay letter D, galactosuria. So, in compliance with RA 9288 or the Newborn Screening Act, newborns are to be screened for six congenital diseases and conditions. Personally, ang ginagamit ko na acronym ay GGCC PAMOR, which stands for galactosemia, G6PD deficiency, 
congenital hypothyroidism, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, phenylketonuria, and maple syrup urine disease or MSUD. So, hindi kabilang dito ang galactosuria. So, answer letter D, galactosuria. Number 12. Biosafety level for the study and containment of exotic and high-risk diseases, including Ebola, requiring a positive pressure suit to enter. A. BSL-1 B. BSL-2 C. BSL-3 or D. BSL-4 So, yung answer po natin dito is letter D, BSL-4. In this level, maximum containment is to be practiced. Usually, yung mga diseases dito are highly transmissible and difficult to manage and are usually lethal, thus needing maximum protection and containment. BSL-4 is the only biosafety level that requires a positive pressure suit to enter. Number 13. The adult worm of this parasite resembles that of D. latum's adult worm. A. Paragonimus B. Spirometra C. Hymenolipis or D. Heterophys So, answer po natin dito is letter B, Spirometra, which is ang causative agent ng sparganosis. If you're wondering kung bakit hindi paragonimus, it's because yung similarity ng paragonimus tsaka yung dilatum comes sa morphology ng ova, hindi sa adult worm. Number 14. Gram-negative diplococcus that causes adrenal gland failure due to bleeding into the adrenal glands. A. N. meningitidis B. N. gonorrhea C. N. lactamica or D. None of the above. So, answer po natin dito sa number 14 ay letter A. N. meningitidis. So, the disease in question here in number 14 is yung Waterhouse Friderson Syndrome, which is typically caused by Neisseria meningitidis. N. gonorrhea causes the STD gonorrhea. And N. lactamica is seen as a commensal upper respiratory tract organism. So, answer ay letter A, N. meningitidis. Number 15. In myocardial damage, which is the first marker to increase? A. CKMB B. Troponin C. Lactose dehydrogenase or D. Myoglobin So, ang answer po natin dito sa number 15 ay ang letter D, myoglobin, which is elevated as early as 2 to 3 hours after the infarct and peaks 6 to 9 hours later, and is only elevated for an estimated time of only 24 hours. So, that will be all for now. In the next video, I will be covering clinical microscopy and hematology. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Study smart and God bless.